I have been modeling for 14 years. I've started modeling in 1989. Iman is very special. She's not a model anymore. She's a celebrity personality. And sometimes we can get her to do some, some uh, things for us still, but she's involved with so many other projects, as you know. I'm very particular about how I choose a, a, a charity because I am not one of those people who just sends a check. Um, I'd rather do uh, the legwork myself. I went to Somalia in 1992 uh, when the famine was on, and I went with the BBC to do a documentary. Uh, when I did that, I did it because uh, that's where I'm from, and I could not uh, uh, sit around and watch what was going on, although I knew that the famine, the face of the famine, was not really being seen. So I wanted to go home and, and put a, a, a face on the pain that the people were seeing on the television. So that's what I did for Somalia. I was approached by uh, Sun City to, uh, to be a judge uh, for Miss World Pageant. Uh, they asked me to, uh, uh, to do the, uh, the fashion event, uh, the charity for Croatian Hunger. The uh, fashion show's um, idea behind it was to raise money for Croatian Hunger. I was very, very happy uh, of how everything went. I told her when I met her that, you know, I've admired her for a very long time. I've admired her having the high, high profile that she does. Um, doing the type of work that she does because um, automatically there's a lot of uh, international attention that she could capture. She could be a voice of so many people out there. And I think it's important that somebody like Iman should do the type of, you know, the work that she does. Thank you for doing it for us in oh, South you're Africa. Welcome. You're you're welcome. Welcome. Well, she's a fabulous girl, and she's fabulous to photograph. I have, uh, at one point or the other, in uh, the uh, 19 years I've been in this country, uh, I tried every cosmetic line that were available in the Western world. And uh, what was happening is that I was getting really very frustrated with the lack of products that were available in the market for women of color. So basically, was trying to create a makeup line that was very, very honest um, uh, to, uh, to these women's color, not change them. It's 132 products, uh, skin care and color system, uh, as diverse from uh, the lightest of the Japanese uh, women to the darkest of the African women, uh, and any of that rainbow in between. My personal life, my husband is in a position that he is more of a writer and a musician, so he can do it in any studio or in any place. So what, how we do it is that either one who's not working in that particular place travels with the other. So that makes it a little bit easier. And I'd like to have to start a family, so to, to, <laughs> as if I don't have anything else to do, <laughs> as if I have free time. <laughs>